Guys, I just wanted to show you the finished cake board. So this was the one that I made earlier. I already put on the lime green fondant. And this is marshmallow fondant and it turned out to be pretty smooth and good. So I saved myself $15 um, by making my own fondant. And remember the, the wedge um, styrofoam that I covered with foil. I actually decided to I mean, aside from using Tylos glue here, I also decided to nail it in. So I used two inch nails. Um, it did not even penetrate the cake board, but you know, I know that it's pretty sturdy. Um, this is actually the look that I'm going for. So let me see if it's gonna show here, but. So this is going to be the base of the hat that is going to be tilted. Um, I wanted to show you um, how I did this because um, like, I, like I showed in my previous tutorial, there are two ways in making a topsy-turvy cake. One is to shape the actual cake and carve it to a slanted position. The other way is this, which is to have regular sized cakes, no carving, but you're going to you're going to use wedges. So if for example, if if you can imagine this will be say the top of our bottom tier. So imagine that this is not a cake board for example and this is an actual cake, then if you want to tilt your second tier that's what you need. You need um, a styrofoam wedge. And hopefully, <laughs> crossing my fingers, hope, hopefully this will turn out well and I'll be able to show you the finished product in the next couple of days. This I also plan to nail in um, because it's, I mean, these are all non-edible anyway, just to make sure that it's going to be very stable. So I hope that you guys have learned something from here and I'll talk to you guys soon. You guys take care. Bye. I wanted to show you guys the finished um, cake boards that I made. I actually changed the ribbon for the base of the hat just because it, it looked a little um, weird to me. Um, so I just figured having the same pattern would make it less complicated. But like I told you before, I nailed the wedges in and here I nailed them too. Um, this board to the base and also to the wedge. So it's pretty solid. And um, for those of you guys who want to try something like this, um, I do advise making you know the boards and stuff a couple days ahead just in case something goes wrong. Um, my cake is due on Saturday. <laughs> my son is going crazy upstairs but he's with his dad so um, but I wanted to make this earlier to test everything and if in case something goes wrong um, there's still time to correct it so hope you guys like this one